Many of the North Carolina Zoo's educational programs for visitors, as well as behind the scenes animal care and research projects, wouldn't be possible without the efforts of a dedicated group of zoo volunteers. And these are some brand new little baby tadpoles. Volunteer educators are a major component of the park's on-site educational programs, while others are specially trained to take care of mother-rejected animal infants or even help in animal research projects. Toy Jarrett, the zoo's volunteer coordinator, tells us about the role these volunteers play and some of the areas where they can work at the zoo. Volunteers are an essential piece of the puzzle at the North Carolina Zoo, with an average of about 300 volunteers ranging in age from 12 to 88. They contribute nearly 40,000 hours annually. Volunteering at the zoo is fun and very rewarding. Some of the most popular venues that volunteers serve includes exhibit interpreters. We have volunteers that serve as wildlife volunteer caregivers. They care for native, orphaned, and injured wildlife. Volunteers also serve in our visitor services area. One of our newest areas where we are staffing for volunteers is at our honeybee garden. There are many ways for people to get involved in the zoo for just a day. That would include maybe painting, mulching, light exhibit maintenance. We have groups that come in from churches, colleges, universities. So there are a variety of ways for people to get involved at the zoo, whether they want to be involved for a day or for a lifetime. You can learn more about the volunteer opportunities by visiting our website at nczoo.org. Becoming a zoo volunteer can be a whole lot of fun and extremely rewarding. If you'd like to learn more, please contact our volunteer office or check out our website at nczoo.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney, connecting your life to wildlife.